Welcome to my YouTube channel, Never Better Yoga. There is no coincidence that you are here. I'm Susan, and this is Buddy Sherman. I find, I create, and I share never better moments with you. Today I've got a one hour vinyasa flow practice all about movement and message. We are gonna focus on opening up our hearts as well as our hips. The message is about the garden of your mind inspired by the one and only Mr. Rogers. So I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, push that bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after that best version of you today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning. Welcome, and when you are ready, press that Spotify play button list and then come with me. We're going to start today right on our back. So just come down on your mat, lengthen your legs right on out, maybe even taking them just a touch further than your hips. Your palms are going to be facing up and even let your arms be a little wider than normal. So take them out a little bit more. Take a nice deep breath in. And an audible cleansing. <sighs> Exhale out. So let that exhalation wipe clear your slate and pathway for your practice today, no matter what it took for you to get here. Breathing in and out through your nose, just a little bit of a stop before we start. So close your eyes down. Feel the unwavering trust of the earth beneath your body, supporting you and allowing you to really create clarity and peace in this space today. Left hand travels to your heart, right hand to your belly. Keep your eyes closed. Feel your chest, your lungs, your diaphragm as you breathe in. And exhale. Find the sinking, the settling, the washing, and the cleansing as you breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now, stay right on your back. Just bring your hands <clears throat> into prayer. Anjali Mudra, keeping your eyes closed. Elbows are into your sides. Thumbs to your chest. Hands and palms pressing together. So today, should you have a purpose for your practice, perhaps dedicating this time to someone who could use just a little bit more of you. A little extra love, maybe a little extra attention. Today we are going to unpack and visit one of the most inspirational TV men of our times, actually of a long time ago still resonating, especially in the children's mind today. And that is Mr. Rogers. Who's my neighbor? Mr. Rogers. So pull your dedication of your practice that someone who you're going to dedicate this time to right into your heart. And then go ahead, open your eyes up, flip your hands laced inside out as you press them up, flex your feet, take your arms overhead, reach as tall as you can. Now point your toes and bring your legs together. How tall can you get? Breathe in and breathe out. Now take your hands underneath your hamstrings or them. let your knees wider than your hips. Round on. Mr. Rogers, and Terry, 
complex and showed how you could take simple items for children and very difficult times. Won't you be my neighbor? I'll switch. Hands on the left shin. Now we're going to run. This is a yoga run. You're just going to side to side. Isn't this nothing yoga style? Side to side. Work the build of your body. Shift your hands behind your ears. Pedal the legs a little more. And work the obliques. Letting the elbows cross over the midline of your body. Breathe. Now, capture your hamstrings, maybe your shins. Rock and roll back and forth. Rock and roll all the way up to standing. Hook your thumbs, index fingers together, widen your elbows, let your heart travel through the gateway of your arms. Open up. Inhale, stretch high, right hand, left wrist, side bend, up and over to the right. Inhale, back up and reverse, up and over to the left. Now, tee your arms and elevate your heart. Lace your hands behind your back, slide them down the back side and look up. Exhale, bow down and fold, heel toe your feet. Maybe the width of your mat, soften your knees and come right into ragdoll. So take a little shift in your ragdoll. So if you were to look on the remix, it's a song that Mr. Rogers actually sang on his show, In the Garden of Your Mind. So just weave a little side to side. I've always thought of my yoga mat as my garden. So this is where we have time to pull out weeds and things that don't serve us. And in Mr. Rogers' song, he talks about the fact that it's okay to be curious and curious with our thoughts. What are we growing in the garden of our mind? So right now, weave side to side. Now hold up in the center. Anything growing in there that might not be good, any kind of angst or worry or unforgiveness, just let it spill right on out of that garden of your mind. And draw yes back in with that knowingness. You are exactly where you belong today. There is no coincidence that you tuned in. And then release your hands down. Kick your heels in. Hands to heart center. Palms pressed together. Malasana. Now from here, lift up out of the hips. Stand tall. Look up. Exhale, empty your breath, come back down. Do it again. Inhale, rise up, breathe in, stand tall. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, rise up, fill the garden of your mind up with good things. Open up your heart on top. Exhale, heel toe your feet to the distance of your hips and your hands to your heart. Inhale, offer the arms up. Exhale, dive down, hinge, bend, and fold over your legs. Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right leg back, dip the right knee down, offer your arms up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, plant your hands, downward facing dog. Pedal through your feet a little bit in your down dog, just letting your heels press back behind your second and third toe. Now from here, peel your heels up, shift into high plank pose. Option to either let your knees come down or go right from plank 
chin chest belly slither down onto your mat but slide your hands off and rise your heart up breathe in what you think about comes about so what is growing in the garden of your mind lift your heart up breathe in exhale breathe out inhale rise up being the first day of spring isn't that apropos what is growing in our garden exhale lower back down put your hands by your ribs tuck your toes under pop your hips up and back down dog let your right leg levitate up roll open at the hip draw the right knee right into your nose step it up back knee dips offer the arms up anjaneyasana exhale shift your body to the top of your mat left leg joins the right forward fold inhale pump the heart up exhale dive back down rise right up root to rise stand tall right hand left wrist take a side bend inhale back up left hand right wrist bend up and over to the left come back to your arms open your heart collect your hands dive over your legs inhale and lengthen step that left leg back on janayasana dip the back knee down offer the heart up breathe in exhale plant your hands breathe out step into down dog shift into high plank exhale from high plank or knees chest chin inhale cobra maybe up dog urdhva mukha svanasana exhale auto mukha down dog back into it empty your breath out levitate the left leg up roll open at the hip pull the knee right into the nose step it up dip the right knee down offer your arms up breathe in exhale breathe out step to the top of your mat right leg joins the left inhale and lengthen exhale and fold do it again inhale and lengthen exhale and fold rise up stand tall breathe in we're going to add on right hand left wrist left foot behind the right lean up and over take a side bend inhale back up left hand right wrist curtsy and bend to the left offer the heart up inhale up exhale dive down hinge bend and fold inhale and lengthen exhale step your right leg back dip the right knee down offer the arms up breathe in exhale breathe out plant your hands down dog inhale shift high plank exhale lower inhale rise up heart lifts exhale back down dog right leg is on the rise inhale roll your hip open knee to nose draw it in step it up back left knee lowers offer the arms up this time t the arms dip the hips offer the heart up retract the shoulders lace your hands behind your back slide them down the inside of the back leg release that connection dive back runner stretch inhale and pump the heart up so when scary things were on the news mr rogers mom used to tell him look for the helpers pop up to a forward fold you will always find helpers inhale and lengthen what are we looking for what are we focusing on even when scary things happen rise up this time left hand right wrist up and over to the left right foot slips behind lean left what are we growing in the garden of our mind look up right hand left wrist anything that might be scary or doesn't serve us there is a new way we can look 
at different things in our life that happen. Shift our perspective, dive down. Inhale and lengthen. Take your left leg back, dip your left knee to the earth and offer your arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, point your toes, retract your shoulders. Cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, dive back. Who could you love exactly the way they are? Left leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Knee to nose, love and acceptance. Step it up, right knee down, offer the arms up. Breathe in, tee your arms, lift your heart, finding compassion in ways to love people the way they are. Lace your hands, slide your hands down the inside of that right back leg. Won't you be my neighbor? Dive back, dig that front heel in. Lift the heart, breathe in. Exhale, dive down, breathe out. Now plant the left foot, hop to the top of your mat into a forward fold. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold. Scoop the arms up, Utkatasana chair pose. In your chair, collect your hands at heart center. Ring it out, left upper arm on the outside of the right front thigh. Stay here, maybe open the arms, stack the shoulders and the wrists. Your wings fly open. Come back, hands to heart center. Sweep the hands, lace them behind your back, dive over your legs. Rinse the shoulders out, breathe. Release that connection, levitate your heart, halfway left, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bow down and fold. Scoop your arms back up, Utkatasana chair, breathe. Knowing that we can be loved exactly as we are gives us all the best opportunity Press your thumbs into the chest. Lift your heart to be healthy adults as we grow from being children. Open up high to low. We can grow to be the healthiest people on the planet. Yeah, exhale. Dive down and help our children to do the same. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands. Step or float it back. Take it through vinyasa. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, dive back, down dog. There is such power when not only we can be loved for who we are, but we can be the ones to give love and acceptance to others, even if they're different. Roll the right hip open. Knee lifts, left hip draws back. Knee to nose, draw it in. Step it up. Crescent lunge. Elevate the arms up. Breathe in. Exhale. Set it down. Let it go. Let it flow. Maybe back to plank. Maybe knees come down. Chin, chest, belly, or lower from plank. Rising up. Exhaling back. Down dog. Let your left leg lift. Roll open at the hip. Draw the right hip back, get balance in your arms. Knee to nose, one time, step it up. Crescent lunge, levitate your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, set it down, let it go, let it flow. Empty your breath out, inhale, rise up. Exhale, back, down dog. In your down dog, walk your feet in just a little bit and bring them together. Let your hands be the width of your shoulders and peek at the fingers. Even create a gripping of the mat, very specifically index finger and thumb knuckle. Now, peel the heels up on the in-breath, on the out-breath, bend your knees, hop, float, fly, feet to your hands, top of your mat, come to chair. Stand tall, hook the thumbs, open the heart. 
exhale, dive down, rinse away right out of the garden of your mind. Anything not serving you, step or float it back, take it through, vinyasa. Inhale, rise up, exhale, draw back. Right leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Knee to nose, draw it in. Step it up, crescent, elevate. Strong legs, elevate the arms up. Exhale, set it down, let it go, let it flow. Know that you could always take out that vinyasa flow or you could kick it up. Your choice, your call, your practice. Left leg rises, roll the hip open. Knee to nose, draw it in tight. Step it up, crescent, sweep the arms up, breathe in, levitate. Hug into the midline, draw your shoulders down the back. Exhale, plant your hands, move through the vinyasa, maybe a little spirit dive. You choose the exit. You wanna lift up a little bit, that's always an option. Inhale, rise up knowing that we can be loved exactly as we are. And we can do the same for one another. Now, hold in your down dog. Peel your heels up. Bend your knees, then just hover your shins over the mat. Now, drop your knees, point your toes, Sweep your hands alongside your body. A little thank God asana as you bow down. Head bows down. Lower back stretches out. Shoulders find a little relief. Just hold and breathe. So it is in listening. Listening to ourselves, listening to others. That is how we find the way in order to listen. The quieter we are, the more we hear. So just slow the roll down. Now, you have options. You could stay right here in a little rest asana, a little thank God asana. Or you could come into the inversion of your choice. You could come into... Dolphin, which would be where your forearms are down. Now, an inversion is when your heart is higher than your head. So you can come into down dog with your forearms down. That's always an option. And just hold. You could come into a headstand, a handstand. I'm going to choose classical headstand where you lace your hands putting your forearms down. Now, if you have any issues with your neck, no head standing for you, just stay in dolphin. If you wanna come with me, your head kinda slips in there, your forearms are down. Now, you might wanna have either a spotter or a wall or use a blanket for your head, but walk your feet in, press your forearms down and pull one heel in at a time. Yeah, levitate them up. Just hold in this tiny little ball. Now, pretend your feet are going against the wall, or maybe they are, and slide your legs right on up. Now, hug into your midline. Fire up your feet. Hug your inner thighs in. Use the bandhas. Those are the abdominal engagements from the pelvic floor to the crown of your head. Can you get taller? Breathe, steady and stable. Now, wherever you are, whatever you have chose, find the descend. That means you're gonna come down as slow as when you went up. So we're gonna land all together back in embryo pose, move slowly out of any type of inversion. Stay low, stay still, and just breathe. Now, rise up with your hands planting, your shoulders over your wrists, 
And let your knees be the width of your hips. Round the back, tuck the chin for cat. Inhale, arch the back. Now tuck the toes under, walk your hands up your thighs. Take your hands, lace them inside out, pull your navel into your spine. Inhale, rise up, lift the heart and lean up and over to the right with the hands laced. Beautiful. Now soften the elbows, lift up and over to the left. So Tikkun Olam is repairs of creation. Slip your hands into your back pockets. No matter what your job is, no matter what you do, lift the heart up, hug the inner thighs in. We are called to be repairers of creation. Tikkun Olam. Maybe you reach back, Ustrasana, camel pose. Lift the heart up, retract the shoulders, breathe, stretch the neck, the throat chakra. Hands back to back pockets, toes point. Cascade back down into embryo pose. Hold. Repairs of creation. Could our world use a little extra repair, especially in our children, bringing them joy, bringing them hope, bringing them faith, bringing them love and pardon for things that may not go the way that we thought they should just to be more compassionate and understanding. Walk your hands back up. Lace them this time behind your back. Slide them down the back side. Point the index fingers down. Hug the inner thighs in. Retract the shoulders. Dive your hands down. Look up. Now release hands and knees. Listening is where it begins. Go chin, chest, belly, taking the time in our garden to listen. Listen to your breath right now. Rise up and hold in up dog, maybe cobra. Exhale, dive up and back, down dog. Hold up in your down dog. Walk your feet in just a touch. Grip the mat with your hands. We're going to move on. Pop the heels up. Breathe in. Exhale. Bend your knees. Step, float, fly. Feet to your hands. Chair pose. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Ring it out and twist. Left upper arm on the outside of the right front thigh. Now look down. Pull the left heel in nice and tight. Stretch the left leg back. Let it land on that track of train and then let that left arm help leverage the opening. Maybe left hand down, right arm lifts and open up, breathe. Now up and around warrior two. Flip the right palm, reverse it, peaceful. Right from here, float up, half moon. Right hand goes over and out, left leg levitates up. Open up. Now, a possible chapasana connection, left leg bends, hand to foot, peel open, breathe. Now, super slowly release and dive over the right leg. That allows you to get the hips in check, balancing the hips up. And we're going to move in to revolved half moon. Now, you could always use a block or a book to elevate the left hand, pull the right hip back, keep the left inner thigh lifting and let the right arm elevate, breathe. Now, right from here, bend the right leg, step the left leg back, come to modified revolve lunge. Heel toe the right foot over, look at the left foot, come to the pinky edge side, right in the middle of the mat, right arm up and over, Left arm lowers and look to the back of the house. Inhale, offer the hips up, create a rainbow. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, rise up and hold. Tink, tink um olam. Tink um olam. Be repairers of creation. Step back, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Peel the heels up, shift back to high plank, lower all the way to your mat. Inhale, retract your shoulders, lift your heart up. 
exhale, dive back. No matter what we do, no matter what our job is, we are called Tikkun Olam, repairers of creation, bringing joy, bringing peace, bringing love, bringing pardon to our world. Hold right here. Now, here we go. Peel the heels up on the in-breath. Exhale, bend the knees. Hop, float, fly, feet to your hands. Come to chair. Exhale, hands to heart center. Ring it out. We thank you for whatever you do, wherever you are, and being that repairer of creation. Now, with the palms pressing and the heart lifting, look down, peel the right heel in. You got to hug into your own midline. Stretch the right leg back, finding that place of balance. Stretch the right leg back, twist it, hold. Now, maybe you open, maybe you hold, maybe you stack your wings and breathe. Let the right heel be over the ball of the foot. Can you elevate the right kneecap? Now, up and around, listen to your breath. Warrior two. Flip the left palm, peaceful, arc up and back. You know where we're going, half moon. Maybe your hand is on a block, left hand over and out on the block, or maybe the floor. Maybe you don't need that left hand, Ardha Chandrasana, hold. Left toes forward, right toes to the right. Maybe bend the right leg for that Chapasana connection. Open the heart. Release it slow. Barrel roll around. Standing L shape. Maybe you use the block on the right. We're going into revolved Ardha Chandrasana. Right inner thigh lifts. Left hip. You can even put your hand in the hip crease. Pulls back. Then spin the left arm up, open up, revolved, half moon. Now step back to modified revolved lunge right here. Now take the left foot, heel toe it back. Let it back so it jets out of the hip. Right pinky edge of the foot, left arm up and overhead. Exhale, lower your hips down. Inhale, where could some repairing of creation be needed from you today? Inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, dive back down, breathe out. Last time, lift that bottom right hip up. Bring it around, high plank pose. Draw back, down dog this time. Now let your feet be at the width of your hips, hands at the width of your shoulders. Peel your heels up. Keep your feet where they are. Shift forward high plank. Dip your hips. Bring your heart through the gateway of your arms and lift. Exhale, draw back. Down dog should feel good. Breathe out. Do it again. Peel the heels up. Shift, pull the navel into the spine. Round the shoulders, protract them, high plank, find the strength. Dip the hips, look up. Exhale, take it up and back. Down dog. Now, in your down dog, I want you to take the right leg, cross it over the left. Walk your hands back to the left leg at the back of your mat. Now, bend the left leg. That's gonna bring you right into standing pigeon. Hold, steady the gaze. Now on the way up, peace fingers or hand to shin. Take that right leg, kick it out. Let the left arm lift, breathe. Open it up on the diagonal. Now from here, Carry it in for Vrikshasana tree pose. Stand into it. Walk the walk. Stand in your garden. 
Move out the weeds that need to be pulled. Change those things in your life that need to be changed. Accept others exactly the way they are. It's an element of freedom. It allows you to be a repairer of creation. Now, kick back the right leg. Dive over the left leg. Praying mantis. Keep your purpose pressing in between your hands. Now walk out, pop the left heel up, roll the right hip open. Stay right here or flip it inside out. Right foot behind the left, offer it up and back. Flip your dog, wild thing, or stay in three-legged dog. Right arm up. Bring it around, right knee in. Step it up. Crescent lunge. Levitate the arms up. Breathe in. Now this time, float up L shape. Left inner thigh lifts. Sneak it in. Chair pose. Hands to heart center. Ring it out and twist. Stay in the twist. Left heel lifts. Stretch it back. Let it land. Twisted. Open up. Hold. You choose. You decide. Up and around, warrior two. Flip the right palm, straighten the right leg, reach up and back. Reach out and down, right hand down. Let the left arm lift for a little Utita Trigonasana triangle. Soften that upper left rib cage down. Breathe, maybe the right hand outside, maybe you have it on a block. How do you find balance in your waistband? Keep a little buoyancy in that front knee. Breathe. Now, release into pyramid pose. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and dive over the front leg. Now, spin the back heel down and in. Left hand inside or outside of that left front leg. Left hand connects to the right leg. Pull the hips back, revolved triangle. Breathe and hold. Now release, bend the front leg, step back, high plank. Lower down, empty it out. What are you growing in your garden? Rise your heart up. Exhale, dive up and back. Visualize your mat as your garden. Hold up and down dog. Hands are planted in your garden. Feet are planted. Pop your heels up. Shift forward, keep your toes tucked under. Dip your hips and offer the heart up. Exhale, take your body up and back, down dog, beautiful. Now left leg crosses over, any kind of weeds, any kind of stinking thinking I call it, any kind of thoughts of unforgiveness. We want to be able to treat other people the way we want to be treated. Cross that left leg over, walk your hands back to the right leg, you know where we're going. Standing pigeon. Hold, breathe. Now from here, right hand, right hip, left hand, left shin, possibly peace fingers on the left big toe. Elevate that right arm up, stand into it. So love others exactly the way they are, including loving yourself the way you are. Breathe. Now carry the left leg in, bring it into Vrikshasana, tree pose. Stand tall, let your roots go deep, let there be balance in your practice, balance in your life, slowing the roll, slowing the breath down, being present at all times in all endeavors, slow, pick up the left leg. Kick it back for praying mantis. Dive over the right leg. Dive down. Press your hands together. 
Now release the hands, walk out, peel up the right heel, roll the left hip open. Now stay right here or flip your dog inside out. Left heel pops up, open up your heart. Beautiful. Or stay in three-legged dog, left arm comes up. Bring it around and pull your left knee in. Nice and tight. Step it up, levitate the arms up. Breathe in, crescent lunge, high lunge. Now exhale, float up, L shape. Let the right inner thigh lift as you bow over the left front leg. Sneak the right leg next to the left, scoop the arms up, Utkatasana chair pose. Hands at heart center. Ring it out and twist. Right upper arm outside that left front leg and hold. Let your thumbs be in the center of your chest. Breathe. Now look down at the right big toe. Draw the right heel in. Use the core. Stretch it back. Use the balance of your body. Finding that place of balance. We all have it. It's just a matter of unraveling it, finding it, unwrapping it. Maybe open your wings high to low. Hold, breathe. Now up and around, warrior two. Flip that left palm for peace. This time, straighten the left leg, press into the left toe mound. Reach up and back. Now dive on out, dock your hips back, put that softness in that left knee, maybe left hand on shin, spiral your body open, Uttita Trigonasana. Draw isometrically the sole of the right foot toward the arch of the left. Let the rib cage on the upper side soften and at the same time lengthen the left rib cage. Breathe. Now frame the left leg, pyramid pose. Pump your heart up, square the hips up. Exhale, dive over that front leg. Take that dive. Now I like to walk my back foot in a little bit and bring it on a 45 degree angle. Right hand inside or outside, maybe right hand on a block. Pull the hips back with balance. You can feel that left hand femur bone plugging in, revolved triangle. Find balance in the waistbands. Breathe. Find the rooting of the soles of your feet to create that stability. Now lower, maybe the block goes over to the side, lower it back down, and from here, step back, high plank. Lower down, inhale, rise up, retract your shoulders, breathe in. Exhale, dive up and back, breathe out, downward facing dog. Now lift the right leg up, roll open at the hip. Right knee right up the center line. Step it up, crescent lunge. Inhale, rise the arms up. This time left hand forward, right hand back. Offer it up, exalt it, right hand behind the left. Reach up and back. Now from here, float right up, revolved half moon. Now that possible chapasana connection, left hand, right foot, kick the hand into the, sh into the foot, into the shin. Release L shape. Exhale, left leg behind the right. Come all the way down. Ardha Matsyandrasana, right hand reaches back, left arm up, wrap a hook or wrap that right thigh, peel the right shoulder blade back, sit up tall, ring it out. Now come back around, plant your hands, forward fold, top of your mat, but make it wider legged. Slip your hands under, Padagustasana, let your index finger and thumb Go on your heel, let your toes wiggle on your wrists. Inhale, pump up the heart. Exhale, physically pull yourself together as you shake your head out and dive down. Ah, let anything that's traveled in between those ears of yours 
spill right out onto your mat. Now release the hands from the feet, heel toe your feet together, rise up, stand tall, breathe in, hands to heart center, seal your purpose back into your heart. What are you growing in the garden of your mind? on your mat, in your garden, grow good things. Be a repairer of creation, bringing joy, bringing peace, bringing love, bringing pardon, bringing understanding, compassion, and forgiveness to those in our life. Offer that intention up, breathe it in, look up. Exhale, take that swan dive down. You are a repairer. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float it back. Find that buoyancy. Find that lightness. Find the light float. Find the lift of the heart. Exhale, dive up and back. Downward facing dog. Hold. Now, lift the left leg up. Roll that left hip open. Draw the knee to the nose one time. Step it up to that high lunge, crescent lunge. Levitate the arms up. The body is warm. It's open. Right hand forward, left hand back. Left hand behind the right. Exalt it. Offer it up and back. Breathe. Now you know where you're going. Look forward. Reach the right hand down. Maybe again you use a block. Right inner thigh lifts, right hand down. Spin the left arm up, revolved half moon. Possibly with a bend, chapasana connection. Breathe. Release it slowly, especially if it's spring-loaded. Now, standing L shape. Exhale the right leg behind the left. Lower all the way down, Ardha Matsi Andrasana. Lift the right arm up, breathe in. Listening is where it begins. Listening to ourselves, listening to others, listening to our children. Offer the heart up, not judging. Listening, understanding. Breathe. Come back around. This time, feet plant right at the width of your hips. Lower down onto your back. One. Climb the rope. I want you to work the over the line. And a few hard from Miss Rogers himself. Find out a few things. Oh. He was bullied as a kid. Yes. And that made him heart want to help. Oh, now keep your left hands behind your head, behind your ears, and lift the heart and chest. And now just pulse it. Pulse. Pulse. Breathe. Exhale. Now, breathe. Now, let your hands. Your hips up. Your hands under. Stretch your legs out. Let them go long. Flex your feet. Draw the legs up. Scoop long. Keep your navel drawing in. Point the toes, scoop in and up. Scoop out and up. Do it again. Scoop it in and up. Scoop it in and up. Scoop it in and up. Breathe in. Hold. Flex both feet. Both hips up, legs up, arms up. Now swing out. Now 
Mr. He responded to his Oh, so switch, 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 switch. And his Mr. Rogers was something. She knew all of his Sophie Scissor the lift the heart. We thank you for whatever you do. Bring joy, the peace that to our world. Rock and roll all the way up to stand. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Standing back bend, open up to the stay. Exhale, dive on down over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through. Vinyasa. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, draw up and back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, can you move your hands just a tense further and walk your feet in? We're going to float our feet through our hands and land on our bottoms. Pick your heels up. Bend your knees. Scoop them through. Whew, right to your bottom. <laughs> nice. Now, landing on your bottoms, I want your feet flexed. Your legs stretched out in front. Bounce them around a little. Yeah. Just bounce them around. Shake it out. Now, sweep the arms out and up. Breathe in. Exhale, Dandasana, Staff Pose. Breathe out, fold over your legs. Exhale, bow down. Doesn't matter if your legs are bent, find a way to fold, lengthening your spine. Ah, dive right into it. Breathe. Yes, bow your head down. Now on the rise up, breathe in, lift your arms up. Take the left hand forward, right hand back. Right hand behind your body, bend the elbow. Reach the left arm by your bicep, up and back. Now reach the arms up, breathe in, sit up tall. Part the arms, right hand forward, left hand back. Left hand behind. Let the thumb maybe face out in, just whatever is comfortable. Lift the right arm up, arc up and back. More up than back. Breathe. Exhale, I want you to take another dive on down over your legs. So animals loved Mr. Rogers. Animals are quite intuitive, aren't they? Woo! You might walk your sit bones back. He was colorblind. Did you know that? Ah, oh, bow down. He was an accomplished musician. Breathe. Now on the way up, breathe in. I want you to take your hands, fingers toward hips, bend your knees, plant your feet at the width of your hips, pop your hips up, breathe in. Lower back down, breathe out. Now let's do that one more time. Press down through your hands, roll your shoulders up and back, push down, reverse tabletop, lift the hips up. Now lower the hips down, take your feet to the width of your mat. So they're kind of wide. Just let your knees kind of take a little rinse, side to side. Now rinse the knees over to the right, sweep the arm up and around, kind of bow down, bow down, and then inhale, open up. Create that fluid, fluidity and mobility, bowing and rising, rooting in your garden and opening up, growing in the garden of your mind, good things. Bow down. And if things aren't good, look for the good in those things. It's not always what happens 
to us, that's only 10% of it. It's how we respond, which is 90% of it. Now on the next one, hold up. Right hand lifts. Hips rise up on the shins, the knees. Right arm stretches way up and over. Push your hips forward as you arch your back. Now slip the right hand behind your ear. Sit the hips down, elbow to elbow, contract. Inhale, expand. Exhale, dive in. Inhale, open up last time. Exhale, dive back in. Inhale, open up, reach that right arm up and over. And now land back down. Let the knees go back to the rinse. Side to side. Rinse over to the right. Circle that left arm up and over. Circle it up and over. Breathe in. Breathe in. Now, a couple more times. Do you feel that mobility in the right shoulder and the right side body? Now I want you to hold the left arm up. Push down in the right hand and rise. So you're rooting to rise as the left arm reaches up and overhead. Stretch. Breathe. Stay up. Left hand behind your ear. Exhale, contract. Elbow to elbow. Sit the hips down. Inhale, open up. Come on, connect your breath. Last series. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, open it up. Last time. Exhale, dive in. Pull it in. Inhale, open up. Tikan lo olam. Say that five times fast. Left arm up and over. Be a repairer of creation. Now drop your hips down, come around, and cross your legs. Yeah, just cross your legs. Slip your hands beneath your shins and circle around. Yeah, just create a nice anchor, anchoring your body right into the earth as you circle your waistband around. Breathe, breathe, move, and flow. Now reverse that direction. Other way, spin it around. Yeah, roll it all the way around. Now offer your arms up, breathe in. On the exhale, take that twist, breathe out. Ring it out, sit up tall. Back arm travels up and over, pull your body in, bow down. Inhale, rise up, create that picture frame, lean to the right. What are you going to put in that picture frame today? You are a repairer of creation up and over to the left. Reach the arms up, twist up and over to the right. Left hand on the outside, sit up nice and tall. Can you draw the right shoulder blade back? Soften your face, let the eye sockets be soft. Back arm up and over, crisscross, bow down, pull yourself together, draw in. We thank you for whatever it is that you do. We thank you for being, whatever your job is, we all have been called. Create that picture frame to be repairs of creation. Lean left. Now lean up and over to the right. Let good things be in your garden. Release. Take the pads of your fingers. Roll your shoulder heads back. Lean back and look up. Hold. Now scoop your arms out and up. Gather all of those blessings that are good in your life. Collect them together. So you can be that repair of our children, of those in your life that you have the ability to influence. You can be that inspiration. Pull your chin to your chest. Just let your head bow down and seal your purpose in. Let it bring clarity. Let it bring peace. Let it bring love then we can share it. Share it with who? Who's your neighbor? Neighbor stands for nearby.
anyone nearby. Now look up. Let's finish off with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Om. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time.